We are recording. I'm out here in a rose garden by myself tonight, or this evening, because uh, cats in Ohio again. So I'm gonna try out some stuff that she would not want to try. It's actually the first night and a month or so that has been comfortable enough to come outside at night. It's usually not uh, cool enough till about uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. And I can't get a cat out of bed at 4 o'clock in the morning to shoot any videos. So, this one here, got it all opened up here. Lay's Stacks Spicy Lobster. This one is, it's, it's a Lay's product, so it's PepsiCo. I'm trying to decipher where it's from. I believe it's from Thailand. Took a lot of reading there because I don't understand his language. I don't even understand this alphabet. It's it's not uh, it's not in English, and it's not even using the alphabet that you and I are used to. But anyway, here we go. Spicy lobster. It's got a picture of chili peppers on there. Kind of sweet. If I went some place and place and paid for lobster and it tasted like this, I, I think I'd want my money back. Kind of breezy. My background's blowing all over the place. There's no heat to it whatsoever. Cat could eat these. I'm really getting disappointed by a lot of the stuff that is hot spicy chili peppers I don't know it's not hot there's no heat there none none definitely identifiable as seafood of some sort but I don't know we're going to put that one away and see if I can open up this one here. You got to wonder why they got to make these things so difficult. It's ridiculous. Oh, you must have a knife with you. Or you can't get in to your snacks. It's ridiculous. This one here. Bento. Spicy. It's got a chili pepper right there. Squid. I love squid. Dried squid is wonderful. Will it be spicy? It smells like a hospital on a bad day. Where is this from? 
super spicy seafood from, let me see here, uh, manufactured and distributed. Samut Sakon? I, I, I don't know where this is from. Maybe you can figure it out. Let's see if we can get the glare off of it. There we go. I don't know. Can you read that? Me neither. So I'm going to taste it. You slide out the, the little plastic tray. Your, your squid is served on a little plastic tray there. I'm going to peel off a piece of it. The pieces are all stuck together. So they break off in little units. Oh God, it's terrible. Okay, it's hot. The heat has hit me. It's trying to take my breath away. But the heat is competing with the unbelievably foul flavor and trying to take my, my breath away. The vile nature of the flavor of this stuff is literally breathtaking. It's that bad. This is terrible. I'm not even going to eat it. Uh, Percy can try some if he wants. We'll, we'll get a video of that later on, but I am not eating that. That is disgusting. I've tried lots of different kinds of dried squid and fresh squid. Loved them all. <sighs> not that. Whatever it was I paid for it, I guarantee you it was too much. Mmm. <clears throat> Nasty. I'm going to eat some of these kind of reasonably good tasting uh, spicy lobster chips to take the flavor away. That's not helping. I'm going to have to cut this thing short and go get something to drink. This is terrible. I'm glad I did this while Cat was off to Ohio, so she didn't have to experience any of this. Gordon Ramsay would have spit them both out. But that squid, oh, he would have been looking for somebody's head to chop off over that. You call this squid? That's not a squid! Wait a minute. That's not Gordon Ramsay. That's a crocodile Dundee. That's not a squid. This is a squid. No, this is not a squid. Oh, um, yuck. I gotta cut this short and go get something to drink. Wow. Flies like it. Some kind of fly. I don't know what it is. It wasn't a regular fly. Anyway, no. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But that stuff was terrible. See you later.